I walked away from a 12 year relationship with two kids. We had been together since I was 16 years old. You know, I had two children as a teenager. And I can honestly say that as young adults raising two children, we did pretty okay. But about six years into the relationship, I began to feel stuck. The situation I'm dealt with, I just yeah. I'm gonna deal with it. I'm right. a, I'm a, I'm a still chase my dreams, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep my uh, priorities intact too. And it's then she perseverance because at the end of the day, once the kids are here, that doesn't stop nothing. Like you, you still have to pursue those goals with or without the kids. Let's go. So the first video, we got a woman that explains why she walked away from her husband and her two kids. Oh, wow. Yeah, you know I mean, Dad, you ain't even hear the story yet. God. <laughs> yeah, he doing like you was last week. <laughs> <week. laughs> <laughs> so let's go to the heifer G. Let's find out what oh, she has Lord. to say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at that. Let's bring that kick it off as usual. It's this jump podcast. Yeah, that's right. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Let's go. I walked away from a 12 year relationship with two kids. We had been together since I was 16 years old. You know, I had two children as a teenager. And I can honestly say that as young adults raising two children, we did pretty okay. But about six years into the relationship, I began to feel stuck. While he was sticking to and accomplishing all of the goals that he had set for himself, I was feeling like my life was just becoming like a revolving door of mother and wife duties. And then the goals that I have for myself will come last. I would come up with all these plans on how we could, you know, relocate to California as a family. And he would entertain it, but he never spoke life into it. And when it all hit the fan, I walked away from everything. And you know what was the hardest? The judgment and criticism that I received, especially from people I thought would be in my corner. After leaving that relationship, an overflow of blessings and opportunities started to come my way. It has been an extremely long journey of healing. Well, I didn't know who I was outside of being a mom and a wife. I am that too, but I'm also more than just that. Now I am getting to know LaBrittany. Okay. Wow. Did she say LaBrittany? LaBrittany. That's her name. Oh LaBrittany. Okay, So, LaBrittany. Oh, wait, wait. So, before we go to the comments, so she gave up her husband and her kids. That's crazy. How can you just give up your kids, though? You know what I'm saying? Let's go to the comments. Mm. So, uh, America, <laughs> the first comment said she wanted to run the streets. Right. Of course. I believe it. I told you. Heffa G in the building. Of course. Yeah. 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 So, second comment, as soon as you have kids, your only goal should be to help your kids reach their goals, period. Wrong. You think that's wrong, bro? No, you can't do that. You, you, because you lose yourself. Like, because at the end of the day, them kids are going to grow up and go on about the, you know, on their own journey. And then mm -hmm. you look back and you ain't did nothing. Now you just, you out there lost. So I, I don't agree with that. All right. All right. So, Lil, we're going to get right up on you now. Shout out. Last comment says, why you couldn't just accomplish your goals in the relationship? Well, I mean, she was saying that he wasn't he wasn't helping her. He wasn't giving life into it. First of all. So is that is that what she was saying? That's what she said. But we don't know. But also yeah. at the end of the day, one thing that I have always said to people getting into those quote unquote long term relationships at such an early age. You don't know yourself. You don't know that man. Mm -hmm. He don't know himself. But at the end of the day, y'all done made y'all done brought two lives into this world. How are you gonna just up? That's what my my issue is with her. How are you gonna just up and just leave your kids to the to the to the father? But you know what? If she wanna be in the streets, because that's what she obviously into, she wanna have some fun. Yeah, so obviously uh she wanna be in them streets, man. So what do you gotta say? What, what do you gotta say, bro? So listen, she says something that stuck out to me. And I'm gonna play I'm gonna play a little bit of devil's advocate. So just say she wasn't trying to run the streets. Just say she was trying to accomplish her goals. She admitted that in the relationship, he accomplished his goals. So at the end of the day, how was he able to accomplish his goals in a relationship with all the mm -hmm. stuff that they got going on? But she couldn't. She was saying that he wasn't giving life to her goals. That's what she said. All right. But she, she never was supporting said, him. She never said he, that. She never said that she was she was supporting his goals. She just said he he accomplished his goals. Yeah. Right. So to me, it's just like 
did she even really have any goals to begin with? Or did he just have the perseverance to do it like a lot of dads do and husbands do? It's like, hey, the situation I'm dealt with, I just yeah. I'm gonna deal with it. I'm right. a, I'm gonna I'm still chase my dreams, but I'm a, I'm a, I'm a keep my uh, priorities intact too. And it's then she perseverance because at the end of the day, once the kids are here, that doesn't stop nothing. Like you, you still have to pursue those goals with or without the kids. But she yeah. like at the end of the day, I don't know, man. It's just to me, it's like to she when she said, "Well, you know what the hardest thing was? The judgment. No, the hardest thing should have been leaving your kids. Right. That was mm -hmm. the part I was How like. How the hell you care about? I'm waiting the judgment. for you to say that." You went back and got the kids, or right. once the once you said the yeah. blessing started overflowing, your next statement should have been, "And I went back and got my kids." Uh, yeah, I, right. I went back into work on right. my marriage. Because don't get me wrong, there are times where you can leave a relationship, whether it's male or female. You can release, you can leave a relationship, and next thing you know, blessings blessings start flourishing. So therefore, that means okay, whoever you were with at that point in time, they weren't supportive for you. However, the kids don't have nothing to do with that. Yeah, yeah, like that. Kids don't have nothing to do with She's that. Not for that like that that again i understand if the, you know you, you met each other at 16 by the time you said 12 years so he was 28 so yeah by that time y'all two totally different people yeah who might not have the same you know uh feelings towards each other might not have the mm -hmm. same goals mm -hmm. aspirations yep. all of that stuff so i get that but the kids that that ain't got nothing to do with none of that you gotta fix you gotta fix that and so she uh, she out of pocket for that one. I like, mean, the she, question she, is, is does she have the maturity to, to even do that? Because, yeah. like, uh. right now at this point, it's like she's flourishing. But the question is, is what are her goals? What is What are, what are the blessings that she is um, obtaining that does not include her kids? And how do we know she's flourishing? And we don't. She could just, yeah. you know. Yeah. She, well, she could be out there just running the streets. Right. <laughs> or, or her OnlyFans is yeah. popping. <laughs> I, I mean. Yeah, man. She got that thing, boy. She is out Living a life like I'm golden. <laughs> Living a life like I'm golden. Come on, man. <laughs> I hope she ain't out there on that o OF or chasing yeah. some. Well, wait a minute. Well, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Before we move on, did she say what? You know what I mean? Her, how, how her life was no. flourishing? No, she no. didn't. She just said she blessings. She just said it was flourishing. She yeah. just said blessings her were blessings were flourishing. She, sounds, she never said what she was doing specifically. Sounds very sugar daddy -ish. Hey, because I, I mean, that. at this point, she's, I mean, th th well, then again, everybody, you know, now these days, women put makeup on just to go to the corner store. So oh, wow. she's putting on this makeup, but we don't know where she's going or what she's doing. But hey, I don't know. True. That well. could have been for a date or it could have just been that she's going to go do whatever pertaining to her, uh, her career so well, who knows whatever it is la britney we don't know you so you gotta get a little <laughs> bit more deeper into your accomplishments before you just come on the internet talking about you flourishing I don't know. my thing stuff. is is as a mother ain't no way in the world i'm leaving my children especially as minors to go pursue my dreams no they're part of that i, I yeah. just i just couldn't see myself doing something like that well you know hey listen man Make sure you drop a like, drop a comment, and subscribe. Hey, I mean, yes, tell us what you think. Goddamn. Yes,